Speaker, the Affordable Care Act came with a lot of promises. Remember the President's words in 2009. If you like the plan you have, you can keep it. If you like the doctor you have, you can keep your doctor too. The only change you'll see are falling costs as our reforms take hold. This, Mr. Speaker, was false advertising. While some may have gained coverage under the ACA, far too many others were harmed by the law. Millions of Americans lost their plans or saw their premiums and out-of-pocket costs skyrocket. Like the mom in my district who now has to pay $400 for her daughter's life-saving peanut allergy medication when it used to cost her $10. That's not what was promised. We need to empower all patients with more choice while also offering solutions for the uninsured and those with pre-existing conditions. And there is a way. For decades, Republicans have proposed patient-centered, market-based answers to our health challenges. Today's historic vote which is a victory over Harry Reid's five years of obstruction, gets us a step closer to real reform. I urge the President to sign today's bill. I thank the Speaker, and I yield back.